The Richmond Museum of History and Culture is a long-standing part of the Richmond community and we are working today to become more relevant and reinvent ourselves as a community center. The museum is located at 400 Nevin Avenue in the Iron Triangle neighborhood of Richmond. We are proud to be housed in a Carnegie Library that was built in 1910. The building was the city's library until the 1960s, at which time the city and the Richmond Museum Association worked to renovate the building in 1980 and turned us into a local history museum. Richmond is such a great place uh, because it has such a varied history, whether it be in um, early industry or cars or the railroad or all the way up to civil rights and social movements. There is a little bit of something for everyone. Richmond is such a diverse community, not just now, but it has been throughout history. I mean, we've began with the Olani Indians, and then we've had, you know, African Americans, Italians, the Chinese. For a history museum to accurately reflect our community, we need to tap into those diverse stories, and we want to know those different cultures. We want to engage with our community because this is their history, this is their museum. Our museum has so many wonderful features to share with the community. We have an exceptional permanent exhibit that explores the early history of Richmond, including Ohlone and First Peoples, industry, World War II, the railroad, and maritime history as well. Additionally, we have a temporary exhibit room that allows us to explore some of the stories that make up the more recent past of Richmond. We have an exceptional collection of artifacts, documents, and photographs that can enhance your own personal history of your family or uh, assist in your academic research project. I like the Richmond Museum because it's the only place in Richmond that has any history to it. Most of it, the old part of Richmond's gone. If you go through here and look at the different exhibits, you see lots of history and lots of different places that people have come from. When I, when I visit here and I go upstairs, is to see photos of things that I don't quite remember or things that are different and things that look like what Richmond was. There are a variety of ways you can get involved at the Richmond Museum of History and Culture. You could volunteer in our collections or at a public program. You could do your internship here. I've been involved with the Richmond Museum of History and Culture since the 1980s, and it probably stems from my degree in U.S. History from UC Berkeley. My mom was a volunteer at the Richmond Museum and was a docent every Friday afternoon for many, many years, and she loved the time that she spent here. And I think because of her love for the museum, that rubbed off on me, and uh, I became involved with the museum and eventually was asked to serve on the board of directors. And we're always looking for new and exciting ways to get the community involved supporting the museum. We are working to bring programs and exhibits that are of interest to the Richmond community and expand the story that we tell. We formally have created a school field trip program. And so as part of that program, classes, whole classes are welcome to come in and take a tour of the space. But in addition to that, there are also interactive activities that people, uh, students can participate in so that they are immersed in what they've just learned. It's not just something that you hear and see, it's something that you've experienced as well. And so we want our history to be relevant to the people that currently live in Richmond. We're very excited to be a part of Juneteenth's Richmond Festival. Uh, and so we created a pop-up exhibit for this festival so that everyone in attendance can know the history of Juneteenth. So these pop-up exhibits is one of the great ways that we engage with our community. Another way to support the museum is to sponsor a community program, a museum exhibit, or a special event here at the museum. These are ways you could become part of our community team. The Richmond Museum of History is open Wednesday through Sunday from 1 to 4. 
um, and it's five dollars for adults three dollars for seniors and students children under 12 are free and our museum is accessible by public transportation and our facility is ADA compliant. Local history is important because it demonstrates that people have accomplished extraordinary things in their own life in your own town. And how will Richmond history inspire you? Why not visit us and find out?